Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. GM 97! Assemble! I'm Hannah. And I am Megan. Today is Wednesday, September 10th. It's also a ramp up day, so it's a focus advising and no sign outs during focus. Today is also the last day to apply to become a class officer. Turn in your completed application into the main office by 305 today. We still need individuals to run for all positions. Be brave, be responsible, and get involved. We will vote on Friday. Do you like winter sports? Miss McNamara is going to be working to revive the snowboard club. And yes, if you ski, she will let you join. It will be open to both skiers and snowboarders looking to organize, plan, and promote the great winter sports. Future meetings will be planned, but please email Miss McNamara ASAP if you will be interested in participating to ensure that there is an interest in the club. She hopes to plan some trips and group lessons so both new and seasoned riders can enjoy the outdoors all winter long. Don't forget to drop her an email if you are interested. It's exciting. Yeah, it really is. Hey, have you ever heard this one? The best time to start investing is 10 years ago, but the even better time to start investing is today. Nope, but it sounds like we're warming up for a Tiger Investment Club announcement. Yep. The Tiger Investment Club will be holding its first meeting of the school year on Thursday during Focus. New members are welcome, as always. This is an organizational meeting with an introductory presentation. Please come ready to focus on our goals for the club. FFA, you've got a few, so listen up. There's a big change for your co-op test plot meeting. You will now meet tomorrow, Thursday, September 11th, during the focus period in the high school ag room. Go see what this group is about and how you can even make money by participating in it. We will discuss our current crop and brainstorm ideas for next year. Hold your horses, there's more. This Friday, September 12th, we have a home football game. Concessions, FFA needs to help making shakes and be in the egg room by 5 p.m. Then they will need help selling concessions at the game. Please help wherever and whenever you can. We also could use parent volunteers to assist with supervision in the wagon. You know, that sounds like a job with some sweet benefits. Yeah, it does. Last but not least, runners. Remember that you will be running first tonight, followed by a pool workout. Well, Hannah, sounds like about it for today. Wait, remember the open house? Oh yeah, that's right, and the auditions. Yeah, the auditions. GM97 is holding an open house next Tuesday during Focus for those interested in getting a behind the scenes look at how we put together these announcements. You can see a tape, learn about how the auditions are planned, and sign up for the audition spot you want. Auditions are next Thursday and Friday after school and during Focus. We're opening up spots for all grade levels now, so don't worry if you're a junior or a senior. Be cool. Anchors rule. The Tigers made the trek to Prairie du Chien last Friday night. Let's get a look at that game in this week's football update. In the first quarter, there was a total of two touchdowns made by the Tigers without letting a single Blackhawk score on their home turf. Number 44, Ryan Millis, ran from the 7-yard line to score the first six points of the game. Number 12, Zach Zilmer's run for the two-point conversion brought the Tigers up to an 8-0 lead. Number 30, Dylan Chown, brought the score up to 14 after he scored from the 4th-yard line. Zilmer then accompanied Chown's touchdown for another two-point conversion, bringing the Tigers up to a 16-0 lead by the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter, the Tigers extended their lead even further by scoring three touchdowns. 
Zomer once again scored a touchdown, receiving a pass from Rue on the 13th yard line. Millis then ran the ball into the end zone, gaining an additional two points for a 24-0 lead. Rue ran from the 10 to score a touchdown, and Millis ran for the two-point conversion for a 32-0 lead. At this point, the Blackhawks were doing anything they could do to stop the Tigers. However, their attempt went unnoticed as Matt LaFonge received a pass from Rue on the 20 to score another touchdown. Zilmer also received a pass from Rue for the extra two points. This ended the first half with a 40-0 lead. In the third, Rue sends a pass out on the 18th yard line to LaFonge, who runs the ball downfield to put the score at 46. Dylan Town ran the ball to get the two-point conversion and topped off their score at 48, which added to their record for six completed touchdowns and six completed conversions for the game. The Blackhawks fought back, but they only managed to gain seven points on a touchdown and completed kick. The game ended at 48-7, adding to the record of Black River Falls to make it 3-0. The Tigers will face Platteville this Friday at home. If you can, make sure you come out to the field at 7 p.m. to see the Tigers in action as they defend their perfect record so far. The girls' volleyball team will be playing GET tomorrow at home, so make sure you come out for that game at 7.30 for the varsity match. Your film was provided by Megan Ingebretson. I'm Devin Newby, and that was what you missed last Friday.